Yeah, well, we were just taken on a journey at Liverpool Street, <laughs> Liverpool Station. Um, and it was so inventive. She was remarkable. I kept waiting for all sorts of new people to arrive, and she invented them for us. It was so great. Yeah, it was an incredibly skilled bit of acting, but also the directing and the all of the, all of the effects, because you've got the sense of a full cast there with just one woman. And, yeah. it, was amazing, and it was quite poignant as well. And I think it'd be poignant even if you didn't live in Norfolk, but it was very poignant if you did. And I was reminded of that fabulous work. Squit. Squit. It's and proper Norfolk, isn't it? And I love the pigeon. <laughs> and the pigeon was brilliant. I oh, know, it had ennui and charm and it was very funny. And you go and dance. No. Kind of touching. She was lost, but then she was found. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. Bye. Yes. We enjoyed it very much. Didn't it was we? wonderful. It's really watchable, really charming, really lovely charming. piece. Really Highly recommend it. Yeah. And there's no place like Chroma. No. <laughs> Although we would love to come and actually see it, not in the dark, rushing to the show. <laughs> but, but it was really, really charming, and um, yeah, it had a really lovely energy about it, and a, a gentle yeah. comedy and some poignancy that touched our hearts. Lovely. I think I really enjoyed it, yeah, and it provides a different perspective. I wouldn't normally go and see a, a puppet show as such, but I think it... It was kind of a unique spin on a puppet show. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, kind of taking normal, well, experience normal day it. objects, like a paper plate, and using it in what, like, yeah, in different ways. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I chuckled a lot to it, so yeah, it's a good watch. And it's very funny. Yeah, conveying emotions without even saying things as well, I think it's very yeah, impactful. A lot was said without saying anything, yeah. which is rather yeah. interesting. Yeah. Anyway. So what did you think? Well, it was like... I don't normally like fits and stuff because it's really uncomfortable, but it was really funny. The puppets are really cool as well, yeah. aren't they? They were really, really funny. As I was saying earlier, like in between the puppet theatre and actual theatre stuff, because some of the puppet theatre stuff is a bit smaller for you, or there's adult stuff, so that was kind yeah, of a nice thing. Yeah, that was thing. like in between, so it was like, yeah. yeah. And you got loads of the jokes and stuff too. Yeah. I really liked it. it and it's like really relatable, really like some of it, like wanting to run away and stuff sometimes and then like regretting it and stuff. It was really deep and really funny at the yeah. same time. There's <laughs> lots of meaning behind it, wasn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to start. So basically I just, I was really touched. I thought it was a really beautiful production. Um, it was funny, it was kind of emotional, it really captured that experience of standing or being in a train station and the transitory um, sort of experience of it and I just think yeah, it was beautifully portrayed and beautifully acted and yeah, it was... The sheer amount of work that yeah. must have gone into yeah. creating it, producing it, writing it all and then acting it all basically yourself, mm, yeah. having all of that, you know, sort of focus and attention on you and you know, any mistakes are kind of your own. Yeah. And, and that's just, I mean, that, I couldn't do anything like that. You know, I mean, it's just amazing. It was, and also just the way she captured the emotion of yeah. it. As someone who lives in Norfolk and went to London, like yeah. all of that around it, it was just brilliant. And the way she like goes from one character to another so effortlessly, she was just, yeah, very impressed. Very impressed. <laughs> it was brilliant. Really well done. Yeah. <laughs>